Hey guys, I'll show you very simply how you can do crosswise multiplication. We've got the base structure a divided by b equals c divided by d. You can put anything you like into those instead of those variables. It can be 2x plus 5, this can be 15 or 7x plus 7. It's, it really doesn't matter. Um, as long as you've got this structure, fraction equals fraction. Typically, you would now multiply by the smallest common denominator, and which is b times d. I'll show you how, how you get there, but it will be very easy in the end. So, typically you would go by multiplying times b times d, which then gives you b times d times a through b equals b times d times c through d. And since we've got now b and divided by b, we can cut those b's, and over here we can cut those d's, and we simply get a times d equals b times c. So the, the crosswise multiplication works the following way. Instead of multiplying times the greatest, uh, smallest common denominator, you just go ahead and multiply those two equals multiplying those two just multiplying equal, um, over cross. Multiply equals multiply those two. So you multiply over cross. That's about it. And you can put in anything you like. So instead of A, A B, C, D, we can just put in 2x plus 5 through x equals like 6x plus 3 through 3x plus 2. Seriously, it doesn't really matter what you write there. You just need fraction equals fraction and then you can just go ahead and do the crosswise multiplication. Tuck. These two and you really have to remember that you put this into brackets. 2x plus 5 times 3x plus 2. Put those into brackets because otherwise you might get mistakes. And then you say it equals this over here. Six x plus three times x. Oh, I forgot the brackets. We have to take the brackets there. Yeah, and now you just multiply this out, multiply this out, then you cut whatever you can cut, and yeah, you know how this goes. Simple rem reminder, just go ahead, fraction equals fraction, multiply upper one to lower one equals lower one times upper one. That's about it. Yeah, I hope you found this helpful. I've got way more valuable information in this next video. And this video is about how you can get, get better at math easily. I've trained with over 100 students and I found those to be the most common mistakes and the most helpful tips. So go ahead and watch this and you'll get better at maths very easily, very quickly.